Hello, and welcome to my Zero to One Flutter Flow course. My name is Anya, and I'm going to be your instructor today. I'm so excited that you've taken the first step to building your dream apps. When I was trying to learn Flutter Flow, I found that despite the platform being relatively simple, it was difficult for me to get started because I couldn't find a course that was comprehensive and took me from that complete beginners to a basic app builder. This has been a pet project of mine and I'm excited to share it with you today. Instead of just talking at you, I'm going to explain all of the Flutter Flow concepts through the process of building a simple app. I think this is the best way to illustrate the concepts and their real world application so you can understand what all this means. I think by keeping the same app consistent throughout the course, you can really see how all these separate tools that you are going to learn can come together to build an application. My goal here is to equip you with the tools to go out and build your own apps. So I encourage you to build along with me, make any modifications to the app while you're building and just have fun. Without further ado, let me show you what we're going to be building. Now, in full transparency, I, I did get this for free off the Figma community. Especially when you're just starting out and want to find something to build to get that practice, Figma is a great way to find nice looking designs so you can focus on building in Flutterflow instead of designing an app. I did make some modifications to it, but this is what we're going to be building. It is a simple recipe app featuring login sign up screen, this nice looking home screen with these scrollable features. We're going to include searching ability to add a simple recipe, view a profile, and save recipes. Let's get started. The first thing to do is create your Flutterflow account at flutterflow.io. Congratulations on getting started. You are one step closer to building your dream apps. And we're going to play around with the Flutterflow editor in the next video.